Hi everybody, it's Sandy Alma with the 24 Tags of Christmas 2017. The third video, day three, is the Simply Folksy Bears. And it's with the Christmas Bear set from Reverse Confetti. Is this not the cutest little adorable bear in the whole wide world? Oh my gosh, he just makes me so happy. He's got a little hat, he's got little gifts, and he does have little presents and stuff. Um, and little Christmas trees that you can use, little stars and little bird friends, all kinds of fun stuff. But we're going to keep it relatively simple. I've stamped them onto some Nina cardstock in the Desert Storm color. And I did throw the hat on there. I masked it behind his head a little bit, but I didn't feel like doing crazy masking. So I'm just adding the pom-pom on the end of his head, or on the end of his hat, as well as the the ridge, the frame, the whatever, the fluff on his Santa hat right over top of the stamp lines. And then you don't have to worry about like making the masking look really cool. You could actually stamp that on there without masking it at all. And I'm, I colored in his nose so he'd have a black nose and a little tiny bit of a highlight on it and give him little tiny highlights in his eyeballs, which I think just makes him look happier. It's not necessary. And then he's got a present that he's holding, and then I did a little bit of masking to add the second package, the one that's standing right next to him. But you could even do this without adding that second package and make this super easy. Just stamp him, stamp the hat, and call it done. Just start coloring with your white pen. But literally, that's all the coloring I'm going to do is with white. You don't have to go crazy coloring these. These are tags. They're not like Christmas cards. They're just tags. So if you have people, especially who throw things away, these are easy tags to make. Now, I took the same circle and I took my sloped hillsides or stitched hillsides dies, I think, from Lawn Fun. Uh, links in the doobly-doo if you need the exact name. And you can die cut from that circle this little wavy piece and give him a little bit of snow to stand in and put it on with some dimensional adhesive. And then you don't even have to draw snow. I've also got this set of bows. I haven't used it before. I bought it when it came out and what did I do? I set it in my room and I haven't used it. So there we go. I cut them all out and put them together so that I could make little bows for these guys. I'm using some extreme power tabs to hold it together because these things are just so flippin' easy to assemble. And then I'm just gonna glue it right on the very top. You can put a little hole in there and put a string on if you want to tie them onto something. But look how cute they are, and that took no time at all to do. They would look darling on your packages, wouldn't they? Aren't they cute? Now over on my other channel, my Bible journaling channel, there are scripture boxes, and I show you how to paint the boxes and decorate them, as well as put all of these free downloadable scriptures in to make a beautiful gift for a pastor, for your mom, for a Sunday school teacher, for your Bible study, that kind of thing. So join me over there if you want to see that. And I will see you again tomorrow here with another video in the 24 Tag series. Remember, I give all these tags away, so you have lots of chances to win by leaving comments here on YouTube, as well as comments on my blog. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.